Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to War Sword Conquest. Now, when we left off, we had begun our raiding of the villages of the Kingdom of Araby, and now, as you can see, we have approached one of our, well, shall we say, most pleasant units here. As you may see, the populace hates us, but we are going to be looting and burning it once again, and hoping that none of the enemy vassals decide that it would be a good idea to turn up. Now, as you also... Ah. Now, as you also see, we are losing 1,200 gold per week. That is, I suppose, due to our mercenary lead belchers as well as maybe our dwarven units as well, because some of you in the comments did let me know that there is a breakdown of many of the units. Skaven, in particular, are very easy to level up, and you can buy them for a very cheap amount. Skeletons start off incredibly weak, but they become very powerful later on in the game, and... Dwarves and Orcs start very powerful and they continue to be relatively good all the way through. So let's take a look here. Are we going to fight this guy? I think we probably are going to be fighting him. Now, the only unfortunate thing is we're fighting the villagers as well. If we weren't fighting the villagers, we would outnumber this fellow. So this is going to be rather interesting, I think. Let's... Oh, wait a minute. We're actually starting in the village, aren't we? So... Let's hope that he has no horses. If he has no horses, then I think we have a very good chance of defeating this guy. So, without further ado, we are going to be getting up here and mounting a sufficient defense, hopefully. Yes, this seems like the best place for us to hold steady. And they don't have horses. This is very good. Oh, yes, this is very, very good. Okay, I am very pleased with this. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're going to tell our archers to spread out, that is for sure. Let's get our infantry a little bit in front, of course. Hopefully our Master of Arrows are going to show their worth here. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, oh my goodness, they actually have sand wraiths as well, as you may see here. These are sand wraiths. Oh no, this is not good. Oh my goodness, they're a little bit too powerful for my liking. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's just charge in our infantry. I'll attempt to distract the enemy's units and hopefully not get taken out almost immediately, but at least I have told our infantry to charge in before I was killed, so I suppose that's not all bad. However, as you may see here, new enemies are now arriving, and I can only assume that they have sand wraiths in that party as well. However, our infantry are beating them back, as you can see here. Our infantry are actually winning, which is very, very impressive. I must admit, I do believe it is because of our Dwarven Hammerers and, indeed, the other tier of unit. I cannot remember the name as of right now, but they are here among the Hammerers, and hopefully they will... Ouch. Not get taken out by these Sand Wraiths. Oh my goodness, they're too good. Oh no. Longbeards, that's it. Longbeards, of course. So, yes, as you may see here, we are having quite a few issues with our infantry just running in to their deaths, but that is, of course, because I cannot control them while I am dead, and that is probably something we need to take into account in future battles. I think what I probably want to do is, instead of putting myself in harm's way, I'm probably just going to make sure that we stay alive and have a couple of fleeting attacks, perhaps? That might be the best idea, because then we will be alive long enough for us to tell our units what to do in combat. So hopefully that will work out quite well, and hopefully our mercenary lead belchers will not get taken out too easily. So come on guys, take out that sand wraith over there. We have almost won this, which is a crying shame that we were actually outnumbered so heavily. But I can only hope, I suppose, that our archery units are going to do Ah, they're out of arrows, aren't they? Yep, they're out of arrows. That's terrible. Come on, kill that guy! Ah, oh, yes, there we go. They killed that Corsair captain. And now hopefully they'll see fit to actually attack these guys. Look at this! We are not outnumbered anymore, and we could potentially take them out, but I cannot command our units while I'm dead. Wow, that is really quite the shame, isn't it? Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to retreat... Yes, and I don't know why Bastich looks upset. He is 
Ah, not helping us that much. Okay, well, we're going to head in here. I am alive now, thank goodness, and there are only four remaining. So I'm just going to charge in our cavalry, and hopefully they will show our enemies how to fight. So, yes, let's just hope, because we are at such a low HP, that we will not take too much damage. Now, the main problem I'm having so far is the fact that we've lost so many units to this particular vassal, but, oh my goodness, one of our companions, Valans, was already taken out. That is not too good, I have to admit. Now, we're just going to swing around here and see if we can take out this guy before he shoots me. Come on. Yes, nice 40 damage right there, and our mercenary ledge belchers just come over the hill, so hopefully we will see him do a little bit of damage, and I would like to maybe take one of these guys prisoner if possible, so let's see if I can actually get around there. Well, nevertheless, we have attained victory, whether we were taken out multiple times or not, but... What? Oh, wow, we actually retreated again. Okay, that was my mistake. Misspressed right there. Okay, well, nevertheless, we have enabled ourselves to take this guy prisoner, and we will be doing just that. So, now we can potentially increase our money situation rather exponentially, thanks to having one of their vassals in our possession, and yes, your objection is noted. Now fall back in line. Yes. <laughs> We're not going to be kind to such a fellow that criticizes our leadership abilities, are we? Okay, so hopefully there will not be another vassal that will turn up here. Thank goodness there wasn't. And now we have a very good chance of taking all of these things, very nice things indeed, for us to sell. And we can even take some of the finer things in life in terms of cabbages, of course. So, there we go. Thank you very much for that. Now, we do have some cattle here. I will be leaving them alone. And... Oh. I think I may have misclicked there. There was actually a companion telling us that we were doing a good job. Hopefully it was Bug. Or maybe Valans. I think Valans is more likely the one to say such a thing. And, as you see here, we do have an 123 strong vassal currently pursuing us. Oh my goodness. Well... As you saw there, at least we know now that we are able to do battle against the vassals of the Kingdom of Araby. So I'm very lucky that that actually transpired so that we know now that we are a match for them. Or at least I hope that we are. We just need to get our units back to their fighting fit shape once they have rejuvenated in the Zandri Tavern, I suppose you could say. So let's hope that the Ransom Broker is still here. No, it appears not. He has moved on already. That is unfortunate. But nevertheless, we do have 19,000 gold to play with here. And we're going to be selling most, if not all, of the loot that we acquired in our not-so-legal gains. Yes, there we are. And let's get some oil sold as well. Oh my goodness, 5,600 already, very nice. Some salt. Sturdy pottery. What else? What other kind of pottery would there be? Oh yes, there we go. So 6,200, very nice indeed. Let's buy some fine bread and some butter. And as a result of us having over 10,000 gold, I do believe it is time that we increased Inigo's survivability. So, before I left Zandri, I did take a look at some of the more expensive armor, as you may see here. 30,000! 30, 30,000! I suppose that is not too difficult to get if we are consistently raiding villages and so forth, but I think I will not be doing just that yet. I would like to get this armor, and I think this helm would be rather nice, Rusty Tomb King Helm. Look at that! That looks majestic, does it not? Yes, very nice indeed. Or we could go for this. That might be quite cool. Let's go with that. Now, we do need some gloves, so I will be purchasing these. They give us five to body armor instead of seven, and a lot cheaper, so it's not bad. And let's get some new boots as well. Let's get these. There we are. Ten more body armor, or should we say leg armor? That's pretty nice. And there we go. So we're paying 7,000, but I do believe it is worth it. And there we go. Okay, so without further ado, I am now going to be resting up here for quite some time. But first, let us upgrade our units somewhat. And yeah, I think we want more Master of Arrows. They did an excellent job in the previous battle. And let's get 
a hammerer, I believe. Hammerers level up. Yes, they do. Oh, yes, we want some slayers, I believe. Slayers are very nice, according to my knowledge of Warhammer, at least. And now, uh, let's see here. I think we probably want to get some skeletal spearmen, because even though they are incredibly weak at the moment, they could become tomb guards, and eventually tomb champions and mummies. So we're going to get a couple of those, because we do have 16 Master of Arrows. So hopefully that will work out quite nicely. Now, while I am cutting away here, I will be traveling to various villages in the Tomb King's Empire, and I will hopefully be able to acquire some new volunteers that will hopefully level up due to our trainer skill, if we have any. Do we have any trainer skill? No. Okay, well, scratch that. We will not be leveling them up. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I will see you back here very shortly. Okay, so upon returning to the Kingdom of Araby's territory, you may see here that we have once again encountered one of their vassals. Now, this is going to be rather tricky, because they do outnumber us a little bit further than before, because of course, before we were fighting against a couple of villagers, as well as the own vassal's army. But this time, he only has himself and his troops. So... Let us take to the field, and as you see here, we do have a minus two battle advantage. Oh no, this is not going to be good. However, we still do have two of our mercenary lead belchers. They did survive the previous bout, which is very good to see. Now, we just need to get our infantry and everyone into position. Make sure that we stay alive this time. Thankfully enough, we do have new armor, so hopefully that should be reasonably good. Now, as you may tell as well, we do have quite a few Risen units, which is not going to help us out too much, but I did find some zombie pirates in a tavern, and I do realize that they're not exactly the greatest units, but I suppose it's the best I could do. <laughs> so let's hope that we'll be able to pull this off, and let's just see. Now, is it just me, or... Are there no sand wraiths in that guy's army over there? I don't see any sand wraiths. Ah, maybe a couple of them? Yes. Yeah, there are two. Aha! That is interesting. I'm not entirely sure why there are only two there. I was envisaging ten. <laughs> oh no, that would have been terrible. Okay, so let's have a look here. We're going to move our archers a little closer and our infantry to the side a little bit. And then we'll get our cavalry bringing up the rear, as it were. And now we probably want to start getting our units to attack. So let us fire at will with our archers. We are hopefully within range. Yes, it appears that we are. The mercenary lead belchers are showing us their worth here. Very nice indeed. And now we do... <laughs> really? We only have one cavalry? Okay, well, at least we've taken out one of the sand wraiths, which is very nice to see. So, thankfully enough, it appears our archers are doing a very good job indeed. Now, what we want to do with them is move them a little back, just so that we continue to keep range. And we also want to spread them out somewhat as well. Okay, so this is going to be painful either way, I believe. We just need to make sure that our units can take down as many of their units before we fully engage as we can. So let's try to do some damage. Ouch. Okay, it appears we're not able to do just that. Oh my goodness. Okay, our Risen are being taken out incredibly quickly, but that is something to be expected. Now, oh, that guy has a gun. That's not good. Okay, well, let's try and do some damage, shall we? 16 damage. Maybe I should have bought a new weapon. That probably would have been a good idea, although I did just do 52 damage, and reinforcements have arrived, which is even better. That's not too bad. Take that guy out? Nope. Do some damage to his horse, at least. Now, I am going to... Wow, these guys. These guys, they know how to level up their units, that is for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is definitely something that we need to address here. Many of you have stated in the comments that this particular mod is very unforgiving and relatively difficult and I well as you could probably see I agree with that and as you see here they have taken us prisoner now which is even worse now let us just hope that they do not steal any of my armor oh they stole my wolf that is even worse that is terrible how dare you ah uh, and they were able to get the vassal that we took prisoner as well and release him that is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. So how many sand wraiths? Oh, they only had one sand wraith remaining, but as you see here, they did have a huge amount of their janissaries, and 
quite a few Corsairs as well. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Well, I think, considering we have absolute... Wow, we've lost for lands as well? Where's he, though? I think he escaped. That is good. He escaped. So no need to worry about that. I will be able to find a traveler in a tavern, and we'll be able to find him without any issue. Now, hmm, this is where I am a little stuck. I think what I will do is I'll do a little bit of off-screen progress. We'll raid a couple of villages, or that's what I will do. And hopefully I will not get taken prisoner again, because that would be rather painful. And I think after that, I will get a couple of skeletal units once again, do some battle with some goblins around here, and then we'll probably, as they level up, move over here, maybe take on some night goblin parties and so forth. And then... Maybe if we are strong enough, I will attempt on screen this time, because we haven't fought them before, but I was hoping that we may be able to head over here to where I saw some renegade pirate parties or something along those lines. I haven't fought them before, but they do seem to be very powerful indeed. So, yes, I think we'll do that, and then I think if that does not work out, then that will be the time when we will start our new adventures with a new character according to the votes on the previous episode. So, yes, that will be our plan of action, and I hope that is all agreeable to most of you. Although, this is a very difficult mod, as you can plainly tell, so yes. <laughs> oh no. Well, a lot of off-screen time for me, that is for sure. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.